Hello and welcome. My name is Nick Burnham, or Nostalgic One, here on the internet, and we are going to play Learn to Kaizo, which is a Super Mario World ROM hack. Um, a, a Kaizo ROM hack, more specifically, as most uh, Mario World ROM hacks are. But I wanted to start learning these because I watched the Grand Pooh World 2 uh, ROM hack for Games Done Quick this summer, and it was really impressive to watch. I think it was really cool. I don't know if I'll ever have that level of skill to be able to play something like that, but I think it would be neat to learn. Um, and I can sort of get by in, like, Mario Maker, but I think it would be fun to just try it out in in the actual game in Super Mario World. Um, I'm not, I can't tell you where to get the Super Mario World ROM, but these hacks are pretty hard, are easy to find, as are emulators. It was actually uh, pretty quick to get this working. It only took, like, 15 minutes to find everything and get it all working together, so... Uh, this is like an introductory beginner hack, because notoriously these Kaizo hacks are pretty rough, <laughs> even for um, quote-unquote expert Super Mario World players. If, even if you've played Mario World a hundred times, probably, uh, these games are going to kick your ass. So we'll see how far I get, and how much we can learn. Uh, but actually, I think I'm going to start a new game. Uh, all right, I'll show you these, these first... I got through three rooms, actually, before I got stuck. So let's do these first three again. So this is just a simple jump, except... Uh, I'll show you where the Kaizo block is. Uh, let's read the text, too. Every Kaizo player needs to know how to jump. To jump, simply press the B button. When you jump and you keep holding your jump button, you fall slower than without holding jump. So that's good to know. Let me, let me read that again. When you jump and you keep holding your jump button, you fall slower than without holding jump. So normally, our fat, our jump is, or our fall is pretty fast. But if we hold the B button, we stay in the air a lot longer. There actually is a Kaizo block that I hit. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Kaizo blocks are invisible blocks that are put in place just to fuck over the player, and they are a staple of Kaizo ROM hacks. <laughs> so we're gonna try to avoid those whenever we come across them, and you can make those pretty easily in uh, in Mario Maker 2 as well. And my last level that I just made for that, uh, called Donut Pains, uh, has a bunch of those. Except I tried to make them easier to avoid by telegraphing them with donut blocks uh, underneath where they're hidden. But I think they're still pretty hard because only one person has beaten that so far. Be and because Lori is a boss, and she beat it in four and a half minutes, but uh, it has a lower than 1% um, clear rate right now. So this next one, I really didn't understand, and I didn't even know this is how chucks work. But apparently, to pass this chuck gate, jump when the chuck's hands are on the ground so he jumps to, and then simply run under him. So basically, you have to watch the sprite, and when the chuck's hands are on the ground, you jump at the same time. And it's on a certain frame, it's not like whenever his hands are on the ground, it's like right after they touch. And you have to, like if you try to wait until he jumps and then run, it's too slow, which is what I was trying to do, so you have to like believe in yourself and then just run, because if you wait, then you're too late. Yeah. This is what I figured out in about five minutes. So that's not too bad. I'm sure the rest of these puzzle levels are not going to be nearly as easy, but we will see. Okay, um, this one really confused me too. You need to hold the jump A or B button and run at Y or X button to cross one tile wide gaps, which I did not know was a thing, but apparently it's true. Because even if you, even if you just hold run, you don't make it. But if you hold X, you can make it for some reason, which I didn't, I didn't know that was a mechanic in Mario World. I didn't know the X button did that. I'm gonna have to look that up after, because I had never heard that before. Um, but maybe it's a it's a ROM hack thing. Now this is the room that I got stuck on, which I think is also sort of how. Kaizo Mario World begins with this kind of bullet bill jump. But I don't know, for the life of me, I don't know how to make this. 
You really have to space this out. Um, so maybe I have to wait. And then jump? That might be what you're supposed to do, actually. If I can catch up to him. Yeah, see, it's like... I still haven't figured this out. And I wish there was a, a tutorial here. There's just no text. Oh, that might have been it, actually. so close. Okay. I think you just have to wait a certain amount of time. Uh, we did it. Hey, look at that. I'll take it. Pretty happy with that. Because I didn't think I was going to get that, but yeah. So yeah, this is going to learn us some Kaizo. Timing is key. and have a save after every level. Wait until the lo Lava Lotus shoots, then spin jump on it and hold the spin jump button. Okay. Which is A on the SNES controller. I'm not using a real SNES controller. I'm using one made by Retrolink from China, which is a USB controller. It's not, like, amazing, but it's okay. I might, might remap that button, actually. Until after it shoots. Hey, we did it. Oh, nice. Yeah, this isn't so bad. We'll probably come to something that I won't be able to do, but. So far, we're getting it. And I am learning things. Skull Raft jumps, so great. Okay, this isn't so bad. Hmm. Well, we're gonna get some practice here. And munchers are also a staple of Kaizo hacks. Even though I don't think they actually show up that much in the main in the main game of Mario World. I don't remember that many levels with munchers. I think they just call them piranha plants, but Yep. Yeah. Oh, I missed the bat. Oh no we didn't. Nice. Ugh. Sweet. So yeah, I think this stuff is pretty doable so far, if you're pretty familiar with Mario World. Or fairly familiar, I don't know. I'm really not good at flying with the cape, so if we ever get to a cape level... We shall see. Disco shell time. Try to stay on the right side of the disco shell, so we have to spin jump on it. Oh, we don't spin jump on it, actually. Oh. Okay. I figured we had to spin jump on it. This might take some doing. Shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, that was not bad. We, like, stayed up for a little bit. Oh, shit. Like, the stuff where you have to manage... You have to, like... You can't just hold right or left. Because that would be way too easy. Let's see how long this is. It's not that long. Maybe we can get a running start, though? Yeah. Um, let's see how far we can bounce off of it. Oh, okay. So we don't want to just bounce on it the whole time. But I think I watched Mitch Flower Power do that in, uh... Oh, I didn't mean to restart. What the fuck? Whoa, that was weird. Okay. Um... I think I watched Mitch Flower Power do that in... Grand Poo World 2. We were able to spin jump on the Porky Puffer, just do that and cross the pit. Easy enough. Right? Yeah, I feel like this is one of the easier tricks. 
quote unquote. Oops. Come on, Puffer. Uh. Oh, we went too low somehow. I wonder why he swims lower. Also funny that he doesn't have to be in water to fly, I guess. Or to swim, quote unquote. Yeah, it's pretty tight. Alright. Press down to win. holding down while swimming, you only swim up a little bit. If you hold up instead, you swim high. Okay. Ugh, this is gonna be tough. Oh, I see. I didn't actually know that. This might be tough, though. Okay. Pretty much have to hold down the whole time. Down and right. And I knew, like, these levels would uh, kind of destroy my thumb, but we'll see. Oh, that was close. Shit. <laughs> um, what else can I talk about? I had to work on uh, the day after July 4th, and that was uh, not super pleasant. Uh, I think it was okay. Most of the office wasn't even there, so it was super quiet, but pretty much all my friends were gone, so that was weird. I haven't been, I haven't worked at a place where I really didn't know anyone. And it's not like I don't know anyone in the office still, because I still knew people, but I didn't talk to anybody except for an intern and my boss today, so... Hey, we did it. I just needed to get that off my chest and then we could do it. Um, so that was weird. And I had to be there kind of to do more work, but... Whatever. Oh, test number one. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I think I, I heard that there's like a test at the end of every sequence of stages. So now maybe we'll be tested on what we did previously. Yep. Welcome to the first test. On these tests, you will encounter obstacles you learned in previous levels. So this is the easy one. You just have to hold X. Or we have to hold, um, right? Y and X. I thought we had to hold X. Was it A? I'm confused. I was doing it before. No, I did. Okay. Oh, fuck. This might take a while. This is kind of like the stage that I was designing um, for my Kaizo, like easy Kaizo level, where it's more for new people. So we really have to be like running speed. Yeah. Shit. I'm trying to get a timing down so we don't have to wait every single time. Shit. Seeming. Oh, that was close. Ooh. I wonder if we'll get a checkpoint too. I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. Is 
starting to get that timing back down. <laughs> Didn't think that was gonna happen. That's the other thing about these Kaiza levels is that they just they're so absurd that they just make you laugh. I think it's like their best feature. Hey, nice. Uh, no checkpoint. So we have to hold down. Try not to die. Ugh. Please jump. You gotta hold B to jump, right? Phew. Okay. We got through one challenge. Oh, that was close. Spin jump. I guess blue coins mean spin spin jump, I think. That's what I learned. Maybe not. That's a challenge we didn't have to do previously, so I'm kind of surprised it's in here. Oh, we have to wait for him to jump. That's why the coin's there. I get it. For the check. It's so interesting how you can manipulate these enemies. This is stuff you would never learn playing the game normally. So from a game design standpoint, it's cool to, to learn this stuff too. Are you gonna jump, man? Oh, we have to make him jump. Duh. Remember what you've learned, Nick. Hey, nice. Ah, oh, this is shit again. Okay. I'm gonna wait for the fire. And then we have to timer jump well. Uh, the software that they use to make these is uh, a level editor called Lunar Magic, which I guess has been around for a while. For like 18 years or something. But it's still pretty popular and really powerful. From what I've seen, you can do pretty much anything that you would expect to do with it. Hey. Ah, uh, come on. The flames suck. We were in there, though. That's the hardest part, is that you can't just do one trick and be done. You have to string all these together. So close. Now I'm wondering if we're supposed to go between the fireballs. Like that. Maybe? Or we're supposed to go underneath them? That could be too. But they're like always in the way, I think. Like that we got enough for a one-up. So close. I see. Oh, uh, yeah, I get it now. We were trying to thread the needle. Didn't really have to, I don't think. Watch that again. Yeah, he sneaks in right under that first fireball. It's like after it's shot out, I think. 
Yeah, it's like we have to wait till it's in the falling animation. Oh, yep, 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 yep. That's what I was missing. I'm just gonna watch Panga play through this. Okay, we can do this. That's what I was missing from the tutorial, though. It's not as tight as it looks, though. Because the angle of the jump is not that bad. It just looks, like, really tight. Hey, we did it. Okay. Yeah, the rest... The shell should not be that bad. Let me pull the chat back up. I'm not surprised there's, like, no one, no one watching. Because <laughs> I'm not very good at this. Yeah, that's not that bad. I was making it way harder than it should have been. Hey, look at that. I'm not unteachable. Damn, my hand hurts now, though. Let me get my compression gloves real quick. Alright, let's keep going. It's, uh, I'm not convinced I'm gonna get stuck yet. Maybe beat a thing. Let's do it. Uh, are we riding this? Uh, is it gonna come back? Probably not. Okay. Oops. Have to balance on that. Damn, this is hard. This is harder than the plant thing, even. Oh! Oh, I didn't hold the button. Fuck. Okay. We did it, though. I'm gonna count that. Sometimes I just hold it a hair too long and I fly right into that muncher. These are quick resets, though. It's kind of like super, super Meat Boy esque. Where you don't really care too much about the deaths because they happen so fast. And anytime you don't die, you're like amazed. So. It'd be neat if we saw all the Marios die, like you do in Super Meat Boy after you finish. Except he explodes in gore. That'd be cool. Well, I'm proud of myself for getting through the first test castle, at least. Oh man, I held it too. I'm just gonna experiment for a second. Okay, so yeah, if we hold the button, we should bounce right up. Hey, nice. Holding the balance. Now we know that that's gonna come back in the castle <laughs> for this for this world. The Betrayer. Are we, uh, is this a Yoshi level? Yep. Condition Yoshi to get more height by pressing A in midair. Yep. Didn't know that. Oh, so we're gonna... Okay. Oh, and I switched that to L. So we have to, like, run jump, sort of. That's another classic staple. Kaizo thing. Okay, we just had to run off and jump. Killing Yoshi is a theme amongst speedrunners and Kaizo players throughout the world. <laughs> Layer 2 smash slow. Don't know what that refers to. Okay. Uh... What? 
Oh, I saw something. I see. Okay, that's not that tight. It's tough, but... Oh, that was close. Nice. Neat little jumping puzzle. You really do get better at it, though. It looks like impossible the first time you see it, but you really can get better at it. Baby rhinos are loose. And I'm 30 years old, and I'm supposed to have shit reflexes, so... Uh, baby rhinos, as well as big rhinos, will jump over little obstacles in their way. Okay... I see. That's kind of neat. I didn't know that rhinos did that. Well, I guess I did, but they don't appear very much in the game. Oops. I like these jumping puzzles. They feel like the most intuitive to me. Yeah, it's not too bad. Almost had that one. And then you get the, the nice satisfying raised pitch every time you make a jump, and then you get the one up at the end. Those, those are always nice sections, I think. Mini star. I wonder how many levels are in this. You could look that up, I guess. Um, be sure to press every on off switch in this level. Ultra star levels are usually based around platforms and on off switches. Okay. Okay. I pressed it too late. That's the problem. I wish it was just on a circular track. Like, why does it have to kill me if I miss it? I know that's how Kaizo works, but... Oh, I see. Because it's going to continue on. Whoops. And then it runs into that monster. That's why that's there. <sighs> I love that they added on-off switches to Mario Maker 2, though. It's one of my favorite mechanics. Nice. Well, that wasn't bad. This is how you, you're supposed to teach things, though. This is how you learn complicated music, too. Like piano music or whatever. Trombone concertos. You break them apart. You break all the little hardest parts into tiny pieces, and you just repeat the crap out of them, and then you put them together. And in theory, when you put them together, it should be way easier. Some Bowser statues won't shoot right away. You need to hit the Bowser statue with your head from below to make it shoot fire? Really? And then we ride the fire? No, I'm sorry. I forgot which button I mapped it to. Oops. Interesting that we're going left to right now, or from right to left now, instead. I wonder how many I should wait for... Like, how many fireballs we need on the screen. I guess there's only gonna... it's only gonna shoot one. Oops. I don't know if I want... Spin on L or R. It's tough. I think I still want it on L. At least it gives my left index finger something to do. I don't know, I think this is fun. Even if it's probably not that fun to watch. Oh, yeah, we just have to bounce on that one twice, I think. A lot of these tricks, well, some of these tricks you can do in Mario Maker, and a lot of them you can't. They patched out some things. Um, maybe we have to do a mini bounce on the, on the second one? Yeah, like that. Oh, 
Ooh, that was close. Hitbox on the fireball is pretty big though. Which is interesting. It's only got it's like a three frame sprite too. If that. Frame perfect. Oh great. Oh, one of these. Past this level, you need to press grab and jump on the same frame on the throw block to take it with you while jumping from off of it. So let's see what's on the other side first. Okay. So this is all we have to do. Now this is where Kaizo really gets nuts. So throw. Let's just practice grabbing it quick. So we need to run a little bit. Do we have to run? Let me see if we have to run. I think we have to run a little bit. So I'm just gonna try landing on it and then grabbing it? Okay. In the same frame, huh? Hey, we did it. What the fuck? It didn't break? Oh man. At least we can do it. What the fuck? Is that not supposed to break? Maybe I'm too close to the wall. At least we can do it. Yeah, I'm just too close. He should have moved that back a little bit. That's right. It was not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Oh man, here it is. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to do this. We'll see. To perform a single shell jump, you need to release the shell at the peak of your jump, but be sure to keep holding it. Uh, what? To release the shell at the peak of your jump, but you should... Be sure to keep holding jump. I see. I was like, what? Oh, I let go of jump. At the peak of your jump. I see. Well, it's not that bad, it's just awkward. And we have to find the, the arc, or the peak. So it's like right where that cloud is. The peak of that cloud. Oops. Uh, oh, that's why the mantra is there. Panga, so Panga says... Yeah, it doesn't work at the peak. So you want to actually do it like a frame for the peak here. Yeah, it's like a little early. Hey, we did it. Thanks, Panga. Two spin jumps. I don't know what that means. Okay. Like, we have to go back and forth? After I go through these, I'm definitely gonna watch Panga do it and see how fast he can get through it. See where he does. 
This is our test. Oh, we're still alive. Is it gonna come back? That's nice of him. I figured it would just kill us. Do we have to go under, or...? I guess we have to go up, huh? Shit. Really? How am I overshooting that so much? We actually got it, though. I have to do a short jump. That was close. Oops. I like the design of this level, though. I'm just, like, jamming on the L button. Oh, we have to do a shell jump right after that? Damn. That's tough. bad at all. I don't think you can pick up jumps on the or pick up blocks on the same frame that you jump in Mario Maker though. I'm not sure. Hey we did it. Did I die? I still died. But I got it. I can see how they get that so consistent now because it's really not that bad. Two would be a lot for me. But we'll see. Ugh, that's so dumb. <laughs> Too fast. Oh, we almost did it. Close. Okay, so we have to let it go in midair after we pick it up. I think is the thing. Which they didn't really teach us. How do you how do you throw it in midair though? Do we have to press the button again? Fuck. Yeah, it's really fast. For someone that's never done this before. Even Pango's like, this is fast. Like, how do you... Why am I not throwing it? Oh, okay. Yeah, and then you do the jump. Okay. So you have to, like, repress Y after you grab it. So now we're to the part where we have to try not to run right into the muncher. It's like, I can see my progress, I just know it's like watching paint dry. <laughs> Ugh. Because we were stuck on the first castle for a while too, but I think this one has gone on longer. They're just more moving parts. Oh, we did it! We did it! We're not dead! Oh, then we have to jump the Yoshi. Do we die? Ah, oh, fuck that. That is so mean. Oh, so I'm guessing there's not a checkpoint in this level. If we have to ditch the Yoshi. Then I have to remember how to do that. But at least we got to the Yoshi. I know I can get it. 
We just need some more repetitions. Yeah, after we start getting to... Hey! Look at that. Fucking did it. I might have to cut this together. After I'm done streaming, I might cut this together into a video, I think. Maybe even this weekend? I don't know. Uh, these things. What does this mean? Okay. This is gonna get serious. Shit. Yeah, this is just jumping. Which is not the hardest thing ever. Shit. Oh. I think I have to be a little faster. Shit. Not sure what to do about that next platform yet. Okay. Then, do we ride the time platform down? We must, right? Yeah, it's just munchers. I like that we get some of these easier levels. Or, like, more straightforward ones, I guess. Not, not necessarily easier, but... I like that the castles... Like, the castles took me... Probably over a hundred deaths each, but still fun. I still got through them eventually. The block dupe. Dupe the turn block into the cement block. To do so, you need to hug the side of the turn lock and jump up when you are on the way down. Throw the shell up when you are on the lower third of the turn block. If the block starts spinning, then you threw it too early. What? Dupe the turn block into the cement block. To do so, you need to hug the side of the turn block and jump up. When you are on the way down, throw the shell up when you are on the lower third of the turn block. If the block starts spinning, then you threw it too early. Like that? I don't get this. To do so, you need to hug the side of the turn block and throw and jump up when you are on the way down. Throw the shell up when you are on the lower third of the turn block. If the block starts spinning, then you threw it too early. Okay. So we threw it too early? Oh, we did it. That is so weird. Okay. I did not know you could do that. Mushroom and spin? Oh. Okay. This won't be too bad. I don't think. I mean, you could do this and Mario Maker 2 pretty easy. There's like several rows of these things, though. Let me just hold right to go up the stairs, I think. After we hit the first one. Sort of. Might have to hold it again after the second one. Yeah, that's weird. It's like you need the right momentum and... I'm not looking forward to when this comes back in the castle. <laughs> this is tough. 
Oh, yeah, man. Just gotta hit that fourth one. But you, it seems like you have to destroy all of them. Which I know is the point. There we go. I just... What I really need to do is, like, talk at the same time. So that I, uh, I don't overthink it. Like that. It's cool that you can climb them up, climb up them, like this, though. There we go. Nice. That's a lot of wiggling back and forth on the D-pad. More than I care for, but we're gonna get a big old blister on my thumb, I think. Um, let's see what the next one's like. A torpedo. I like this hack, though. It's cool. Even if it's a little harder than I think it should be. You can spin jump on torpedo Ted's. Just jump over these munchers. Will do. Sir. Sir Rom Hack Maker. I should look up who made this actually. Okay. Torpedo Teds are so weird. I was thinking about this earlier. It's like. They put an object in this game called a Torpedo Ted. <laughs> I know it's, it's like the same. Alliteration, alliterative name. Like Bullet Bill, but it's just very funny. So there's nothing else in the game that has like a real, real life name. Is this the castle already? Get close to the thwomp midair so he starts falling down. Once he starts falling, wait a bit and try to land on him to pass the gap. Okay? He's not falling. He's supposed to. Okay. How close are we supposed to get? What? Mid air, so he starts falling down. But how do we? I think we have to jump and land on him at the same time. Because we don't have time for two jumps. Yeah. Okay. Damn, that's hard. Okay. Doable. I put some, like, flomp jumps in my quote-unquote Paizo level, but it wasn't that hard. Rotating platforms. Doesn't sound too bad. Just some simple platforming with rotating platforms. I'm down for that. This shit was in the base game. And I mean, this is pretty common in Kaizo too, so it makes sense. Oh, we might die. I think we just have to run off the platform at the end. Yeah, these levels are a breeze compared to the castles, because they're so short. They only have one trick, obviously. But I think we just have to run off to hit that platform. I was wondering if we were going to hit that or not. I clipped into that. Yeah, let me just run off. Neat. I mean, that's good Mario Maker fodder too. If you want to make something that's close to this level of difficulty without being too hard. Uh, 
Uh, can we jump on this guy? Yep. Should've known that. I like that he's mis mixing up the stage backgrounds too, because they don't really matter, but... I'm assuming you can use booze and, like, if you use Lunar Magic, I'm pretty sure you can put whatever enemies you want in whatever settings, so... It's nice he's putting a little bit of atmosphere in. This is tough, though. Because it's a different speed than the Torpedo Teds or uh, the Fireballs that we ran, that we rode on earlier. Fuck. Aw, oh, man, that was it, too. <laughs> oh, I waited too long. I think we can get away with, like, too many bounces in the middle, then we're fine. Oops. <laughs> Man. There's no way I would ever, like, upload something this hard to Mario Maker 2, because I it would take me forever to beat. Mm -hmm. But maybe I'll be able to do some of the higher, harder stuff in Mario Maker now that I've had some of this practice. But like I said before, a lot of these... Well, the weirder glitches are not in Mario Maker, I don't think. I don't think you can pick up a block and jump at the same time in Mario Maker. It's just a weird um, Super Mario World thing. Maybe you can't even do two bounces there. Maybe only one. Do that to you. Oh, that was my fault. Like, all of this isn't my fault, but. Damn. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to stop pretty soon because my fingers are getting numb, but. I made a lot of progress, surprisingly. Hey, that's a good way to go out, too, I think. <sighs> okay. Peace.